Welcome to a fly tying tutorial. Um, this is a uh, like a makeshift dragonfly nymph. You know, it's just tied for tying it for wintertime fishing. I'm, I'm I probably like uh, the color purple or blue for winter, just because uh, you know this time of year. You know, here in Texas, we get that indirect. Well, all over North America, we get that indirect light. You know, so uh, you know some darker colors. I mean, I'm sure this will work if the blue was. So what you what you can see is that I'm. Uh, tying in some bee chain eyes and um, and basically the the the, the uh, component on there I'm tying in some copper wire to add a durability I got a I got a guinea feather and there's about four components to this body uh, there's the tail made out of this guinea feather uh, there is an abdomen section uh, which is dubbing and then it'll have the wire wrapped on top of it for durability there is a palmered guinea feather between the eyes, dumbbell or the bee chain eyes and the abdomen, and uh, above it, it'll have some scuds back uh, wrapped on it. And so now, as you can see, I'm uh, put dubbing on some uh, rust-colored dubbing, dubbing flash, uh, rust, yeah, uh, uh, ice dubbing, uh, rust-colored ice dubbing. And I'm wrapping the hook, and um, this is my little bodkin tool. This one that has this, uh, I can't remember the size of the thread. It's a real thin thread, uh, but uh, you know, I don't use it that much except for these smaller flies. This is a size 10 streamer hook from Orvis. Um, and you know, so I use this skinnier thread on these smaller hooks, and uh, you know, and it's and I and I use my the porous bobkin or bobkin or whatever you want to call it that to hold that thread, and that and it gives me problems. So I, I just complete the abdomen, um, and now I'm uh, yeah I'm struggling, <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm just kind of positioning the hook, repositioning the hook. And there, there's the scuds back. Uh, I think it's like a quarter inch scud back. Um, and it's to look like the carapace of a, of, a, of, a, of a bug. And I'm just wrapping it in really good. Um, or, you know, make, it helps with the exoskeleton of a bug. And I'm just wrapping it in real good and tight. You know, I, the, the, the point of this fly is to have some durability. And, you know, and that, and, you know, just wrapping it in really good and cutting off, trimming off the excess. And uh, I've got it, and it should go on top of this fly. Um, and <clears throat> now I'm going to, I'm going to wrap the wire around there. And I'm going to go ahead and go in front of that, uh, or right behind, I stopped right behind that uh, scud's back. And I re I got the hook uh, position, reposition. And so I'm going to tie in another guinea feather, and I'm going to palmer it around the around the uh, hook, and uh, make like some legs or whatever, some swimming legs right behind the eyes. Very simple fly. These kind of a flies are re really effective. Um, hold on. So yeah, I'm, uh, you know, you just palmer the guinea feather around there to kind of make it kind of stick out like its legs or something, and uh, you know, and you tie it down and cut off the excess uh, like I'm doing here, and then you uh, you know tie it back, and then you take the scud, well, I, like I, I'm wrapping the wire around, and you know making sure you know I'm kind of doing that for durability and kind of give it a segmented look. Um, then, you know, cut the excess wire off. You know, be sure to cut that out the, 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 where the scissors come together because it'll dull the tips when you cut that wire. Now I'm putting the scud back down. I'm laying that down and um, pushing everything out to the side. And those are supposed to be legs. And, um, you know, I, I blocked some of this out because my hand got in front of the, the uh, camera. And now, as you can see, it was the back of my hand. So I just. Come loose there. Um, 
the, these peak vices are okay for smaller hooks. They're, they're, they really excel at like larger hooks when you're like tying bass flies or saltwater flies, which, which is what I predominantly do. And I'm just tying everything down. Making sure that it looks like a little scud back, a little, a little, you know, carapace on, a, on an insect, and then I'm going to tie it down, and nice and tight, and give it that shiny back looking like a bug has, and then we got the, all the legs coming out of the side. Now this is not a pretty fly, but it doesn't need to be a pretty fly to be an effective fly. So, um, and I'd probably like it in like blue or purple uh, like during the winter months because you know during the winter months North America doesn't get like a direct sunlight kind of um, the, uh, the, ro the rotational pattern of the earth is, is leaning away uh, from the sun so we, we don't get direct sunlight and I'm just whip finishing it you know and trying to finish off this fly and making it look good um, like I said I didn't really have it that tight in the vise but uh, it looks like it's a little bug or <laughs> a little leg sticking out of the bottom you know a little nymph or whatever it could probably be a you know an aquatic insect or a, you know or a, you know I mean it could, be, it could be even a little crayfish or something but you just never know what the fish thinks uh, you know and I'm brushing it out to kind of uh, you know spread that those feathers out and kind of combing them back and stuff and uh, after I whip finish it here I'm getting ready to finish it off and uh, you know and I'll put a little drop of super glue on the threads to make it durable and uh, that's it for this fly thanks